Hmm. Damn. Kevin Hart talking about the same thing he was talking about in the last interview. Hmm. I can either watch it to hear it different or I can go on to the next video because I already heard it. But I understand that he got new people that came, so they don't know the story. So that's why he had to explain it to the new people. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. That's understandable. If you've already heard the story, please wait for the next video. Enjoy. I left the house when I was 17. Uh, my dad, he didn't understand the gay thing. I didn't know how to explain it to him. We both just, we just didn't know. 17, I'm out here in this world, and I don't know what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Figure everything out on my own. My life, a living hell after that. Happened it a lot, but you don't have to apologize to anybody. Oh my God, why is she still talking about the past and this and that? Because you gotta go from the root of where the shit started from. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But the person that it was directed towards. Or just go to the root period of where you come from. And then what you said, all you had to do, sis, was get on here and say, I said what I said. Then you get into the mess. You know? But I didn't mean it. And I apologize from the bottom of my heart. And we so for the people that have patience and finally got here, I'm sure you want to hit this. Yeah. Don't come with no bogus ass excuse. And this is when shit gets, uh, I guess, gypsy. After I left from New York, numbers went up. All my Instagram numbers went up, YouTube numbers went up, everything went up. And that is when I started to get a lot of hate. I never, ever, ever got as much hate as I did until after I did the videos no, with Spice. Everything, you know, Lee told me, when you do these videos with us, just be prepared for what's gonna come with it because a lot of people don't like it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people hate us. As a matter of fact. Uh, but then they had a lot of support. But even the people that supported them Some of them didn't support me. Hello, haters. <laughs> they had, you know, a lot of the fans definitely were saying a lot of shit at the time. Like, I just popped up on them. Um, time, like, I just popped up on them. Um, I was a stalker. I was infatuated with, you know, the Spicy Gang and all this mess. And um. I'm bringing that up because at that time, it was starting to bother me. So you know how you you get a hate comment or somebody say something or whatever, and you kind of just brush it to the side like, man, it's straight. Uh, I, I don't feel no type of way. I'm not mad or I'm not angry, whatever. Um, the comments were starting to get to me. What the fuck is wrong with y'all, nigga? Like, and... You know, that's when the fat comments were coming out more. Um, like I said, you stalked them, things like that. And it was starting to make me feel some type of way. It was starting to affect me on my day to day. And I was definitely becoming very focused on the negativity by this time. I'm so focused on the negativity. Anybody say something, I'm ready to snap back. 
So I put out I'm single. And some of y'all are so. Talking to the haters. Anybody feel some type what of way I'm ready to wrong? tell them they don't need to, you know, some time. Everything is going up. I um, end up moving out of the apartment that I finally, you know, could actually hold on to. Moved out of that apartment, got a new one. Um, you know, me and my ex together and we were living there and, you know, at first it was going good. I, I got a new following and it's like, I have to entertain these people. Now, what some people don't know is the pressures of YouTube. The pressure of YouTube and the pressure of what people want. They're Who is managing Queen right now? We want to know. Needs and wants from supporting you. It's a different feeling. It is a different type of control. I'm going to get on here and admit that I was controlled by the viewers. I was absolutely controlled at the time. I was controlled by the hate comments. I was controlled by... Right. If somebody said they don't go together and they have not been fake with you not one time on this platform, not one time, ever, why would they lie to you about that? By the hate comments, I was controlled by what they wanted to see. I was controlled by, you know, me not putting out new content or different content because I was just going to feed them the same content that they want. And it's actually some new YouTubers out right now that's doing the same thing. And I want to tell them so bad. Stop. You know, I want to tell them so bad, man. Stop. You know what I'm saying? At some point, you're going to want to show you. You know? And I was having talks with other YouTubers around this time. Like, man, damn. Like, I love reacting to people. I love it. I do. But damn, I want them to know me. I, I want them to to know who I am. Yeah. So. I'm gonna hold the door for a gentleman. You know what I'm saying? So this is when it started kind of going up and down with, with reaction videos and me and, and doing pranks and, and challenges and things like that. It was kind of getting it was just too much pressure. But not only that, right now, now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna pay my bills. Like now, you know, I'm depending on this check. Never do anything for money. You do, if you have a passion to do something, let that passion stay a passion. Stuff to succeed. Okay, you do money not have control to be me. educated to right? succeed. At this point, this is no longer See, for the entertainment. So you can quit beating yourself up about your lack of education. Entertainment. I need the money. I gotta pay my damn bills. So, you know, in my relationship, we're going through what we're going through. I start pranking other people, bringing other people in videos. I seen people like that, so I started going with that. I'm getting fatter and fatter and fatter. I'm sitting at this desk all day long. Literally, I would get up, go straight to the computer. No, I didn't want to take a shower. No, I didn't want to clean up the house. No, I didn't care if the house was a mess when anybody got home. No, I didn't care if clothes was washed. No, I didn't have to wash my ass. I need to put out content. Being controlled by the internet and that's literally how I'm running behind the camera you get what I'm saying because I had had enough man I was living in this car for three years man I wanted to force passion on other people that they did not have for what I was doing right? good minds discuss events Great minds discuss ideas. I was Eleanor Roosevelt. I had to step outside of myself and look at me. I had to, and I'm so glad I did. I applied entirely too much pressure to the people that was around me. I'm sure you wanna hear this. Yeah. I was controlling 
everybody around me. No, I don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> I don't want to hear anything. I'm trying to edit. I don't want to, uh, I don't want you to go live. I don't look presentable. I felt obese. I felt broke at this time. And I, I just, you know, I let myself go. Period. I let myself go. Which means they know exactly who to look for. That's number one. What say? And all he did was say happy birthday. Miss Trita. That's all that matters and that's the truth. Okay. Not only did I let myself go, I'm being controlled and I'm controlling people. Now, to this day, I realize that now. I wouldn't have ever admitted that then. And to be honest, it's because I didn't know. I was so stuck. You know, you, you get in a tunnel and, and people outside trying to talk to you, but you don't even hear that shit. You can't hear it because you're in the tunnel. You literally cannot hear nothing anybody has to say. So people that were around me that loved me was trying to tell me everything that I know today. Bruh, you know, bruh, it's okay if they not watching, bruh. I mean, if you really want to work out, bruh, baby. Get your ass up and clean up the kitchen. Baby. It, it, it didn't, it, it wasn't a, a, a best friendship anymore. It wasn't a relationship anymore. You get what I'm saying? It was control. And I'm so glad that I can see that now. Um. And I wish I seen it then, you know? And I mean, I, it, you know, you can't take back certain things. You can't change certain things. You can only recognize, you know, that person that you have become and you can try and change it or go a different route. You know, I end up moving into another apartment with my ex and it, it got worse. Um, I started making money. Damo and Chrissy Saga was going on and I was in it. I was in it and you want to know why? Because I was going through it. <laughs> you know, I was going through what was going on in their relationship and I wanted to leave mine. I wanted to leave my relationship at that time because I was not happy. You know, a time of just having a lot of things going on in my mind, trying to figure out where my career is going, blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing. I was so lost and so ashamed of me. I couldn't see the good that was around me. You get what I'm saying? So let's go deeper. Start making money. And I'm really controlling now. Yo, I'm gonna buy something and I want you to have it because I feel like as my woman, you are a reflection of me. And I still stand on that to this day. However, I don't have to switch up the way you walk, switch up the way you talk, switch up the way you do anything. That's what I was doing. I'm controlling you. And I, at that time, I kept having visions of, of A, her leaving me, B, me controlling her and feeling bad after I say some fucked up shit. Fuck that my mouth is disgusting when I am upset. So after I say some fucked up shit, then I get to apologize and then I start buying shit. 
people. Because I ain't even want to say that shit. But I done said it. So now I'm here. Let me buy you some shoes, man. Let me goddamn buy you some jewelry. Let me goddamn get you a computer. Get you a camera. Get you... Trying to buy you. Because... I'm so fucked up up here and I am so what I'm letting out is so bad and what I'm saying to you is so bad <laughs> it gets deeper than that I tell you I want to leave you but then I'm begging you to stay at the same time something is wrong with that something is wrong with me you get what I'm saying so I kept trying to run away from the relationship. And again, not wanting you to go nowhere. I had no idea how bad, how lost, how disgusting I was until, what, six, seven months ago? And I'ma stop saying I had no idea. I had a feeling but I wanted to run away from that feeling. Everything running away from that. Nah, man. I, I, she did. I, I'm talking to her like that because she did this to me. I'm talking to her like that because she did that to me. I ain't saying she was perfect. You know? We had our, our ups and downs, but. Nah. What I was putting pe the people around me through. They ain't deserve that. I always felt like I had to. I have to make sure you're good. I have to make sure you're working. I have to make sure I feed you. I have to make sure you're this. I have to make sure you're that. And then I definitely wasn't thinking about myself got so caught up in other people's lives around me. They asked for an issue, to be honest. I'll let you know how I blew $40,000. All of that happening, I made my first $10,000.